After I graduated from high school and subsequently began my YouTube career, I made plans to enroll at Dominican College to further my studies. Originally, I was going to enroll at St. Thomas Aquinas College, but the other choice proved to be more financially feasible. In addition to the academics, I have a campus passport that provides opportunities for extracurricular activities. Ten years ago today was when I was originally going to start donating blood. However, since I did not have my photo identification, I was denied entry and those plans were moved back to March 26, 2013. By the way, this was just before having to prepare for the upcoming Hurricane Sandy that washed away my Halloween, like how the October snowstorm froze it the year before. My experience with first-time donating blood was brought up in some of my classes, thus motivating peers to do the same, if they can. On October 24, 2013, I made a second whole blood donation and felt comfortable about doing this in the future. However, the next day featured a lecture from Introduction to Physiology. What was supposed to be an ordinary Friday turned into a scary one, as I passed out during class, which the professor deemed as relevant while my peers witnessed the incident. The notes you see here were going to be about the circulatory system, which include the timing of my fainting. Following such a spell, I had to rest for a few minutes before going to the nurse's office. From there, I was deemed unfit to return to class until the following Monday so as to spend the weekend recovering and expressing my gratitude for the response of my fellow peers, particularly those sitting near me. By the way, when I found out I had dawn of mathematics in that same room, I decided to take the same seat I had on October 25, 2013 as a reminder to take necessary precautions before, during, and after my blood donations, whether it's my whole blood or a specific component.